Okay, I'm composing a message to my friend Gordon in Nevada, um, who actually got me interested in trying to do this, but he was talking about doing airmail. So anyways, here's my message to Gordon, and I've typed it, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to go post to the outbox. And so it's going to be now ready to sit there and go. And so what I need to do now is I'm going to be on packet wind link, um, which is, you can choose whatever you want, uh, but right now this is all I got set up. So packet wind link, and that's going to be VHF. I think it can do UHF as well. And I'm going to go here and click uh, open a session. And then now it's connecting to my TS2000 and it's ready to go. So, and I would normally go click down here, channel selection, and these will get updated from the internet when you connect. Um, and these tell me all the available ones that are uh, nearby. I'm using the second one because it seems to work better. And um, you would click on it and pick it, and it would put it up here, in that one there. And I've got it set to DigiPeter, and then I will click the start button on here, and it will send out a tone to basically query the repeater. See? And now you hear it. And now it's connected to the Yavapai County Aries Races Windlink Gateway. And it's going to send my message and retrieve whatever other email messages I have on this particular deal. And sometimes it can take quite a while. Uh, and if you attach a picture, you're going to regret it if it even goes through. Um, as it'll be sitting there for quite some time. So it looks like it does pretty good for like text types of messages. So right now it's just going to send it piece by piece. And you know, send it and then it replies back. And I don't know if it just does an error correction. So this thing, once it goes across the top, which it shot out pretty fast, will uh, let me know when it's done. And then it will uh, it'll disconnect. And then right, right now it's showing me what it's doing. So it's connected to here, and it says it has a message from 93 Mustang LX, and then also it should have another one. Um, it should show the one sending to Gordon, but I don't see it, so I might have done it wrong. But it's right now it's downloading. Uh, it completed the message. It's sending. Okay, now it's going the other direction. <laughs> so I believe what it's doing now is it's downloading. So we can see, uh, what do we got here? I'm not seeing it yet. So, um, like I said, this could take quite some time. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not sure what it's doing. And so, you know, if you send like a message and it's got like a bunch of history on the message and attachments and stuff, I think that that causes issues too. So, um, what I tried to do was compose a fresh message and. Um, you know. Anyway, I'm going to pause this and come back in uh, a few minutes. Hopefully it will be done by then. So, I think it's trying to send a, a previous message that I aborted because it was going to take too long. But anyway, so this is, shows up like my inbox. So here is the, uh, um, I'll show you the basic part. SMTP93, so that's the email address. You see the one on the bottom, and it originated from the service. Um, so, um, okay. But anyways, I'm not sure what it's sending. I think it's sending another uh, thing that was in queue. And uh, anyway, I'm just learning how to do this, so um, there you go.